So here's another tutorial that I think is very useful. So if you've seen my tutorial for the face scrubbies, right? So I'm making something for for these scrubbies today too. So here are my face scrubbies. These are 100% cotton. And as you can see, I have to weave in my ends. They're not complete. And I keep them in this jar that I got from the Dollar Tree. And they fit perfect inside. So I'm going to be making more. And see, as you can see, I still have to finish them. But I'm going to be showing you another tutorial today. That's a great addition to your face scrubbies. You don't need a lot of yarn, just a little bit. And we're going to begin with a slip knot. Okay, we're going to chain, chain 10, well 12, chain, chain 12, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There's my chain 12, okay, and now you're going to um, single crochet in the second chain. I should say the third chain. The third chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet and you're going to continue that. So you're going to continue to single crochet in each stitch until you reach the end. So we're just single crocheting. Now, when you get to the last one, you're going to insert three. One, two, and three. Three single crochet. So now, we're going to continue. So we got three single crochet in that, uh, that last stitch. Now we're going to insert single crochet on these loops. On, a, on the other side. Which I'm just mirroring that if there's a single crochet here, then I will do a single crochet here. So in each loop, you're going to insert a single crochet. So you should have the same amount of single crochet here as you do on this side. But you don't have to be perfect. So now on the last, on the last loop here, we're going to insert two single crochet. Okay. And then now you're going to yarn over and you're going to double crochet on top of this chain two from the beginning of the row single crochet I mean I'm sorry half double crochet on that chain two from the beginning okay there you go and now you're going to do another double crochet in the next stitch and in the next one and we're going to continue to half double crochet another half double crochet and another one okay and this is going to form like a like a canoe which is just fine okay and that's what we're gonna do keep half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the last 
um, single crochet here. So now we're on this half double crochet. You're going to chain one and single crochet. Chain one, skip the stitch and single crochet. Chain one, single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, 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 and single crochet. There you go. See, as you can see, it's forming into like a canoe. And you're just going to continue that. Skip a stitch, single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, and single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. And you're going to keep doing that till you get to the, to the part where you have a chain one and single crochet. So I'm, I'm, I'm on my, um, my first single crochet space here. So I'm going to chain one and insert my hook in the, in this chain one space and insert a single crochet. Chain one. So you're going to skip this stitch this single crochet and you're going to go inside the chain one space and you're going to single crochet. Chain one, insert your hook inside the chain one space and single crochet. And I love this pattern which I use a lot on many of my projects. And I will show you how it looks like. So you want to continue the pattern of chain one and inserting your crochet hook inside that chain one space to form a single crochet. And what you will have, and you're just working in rounds. Okay? So you're just working in rounds. And what you will have is a pattern like this. So this pattern allows the water and the soap to penetrate easily inside. So when you put your soap inside the soap saver, you can actually use it to body scrub. So again, chain one, insert your hook in a chain one space and single crochet. And just do that until it's until you get about the size of your soap. Now and then I'll show you how to uh, how to finish and complete the pattern. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran out of yarn, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this yarn to this one. Okay, and now I'm going to chain one and continue my journey. Go back to my right size yarn. So, so far, I think my soap saver is the right height. To test that, I'm going to take my soap, insert it in, and I think this is a perfect size. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one okay and we're going to double cro double crochet in the next stitch like that 
Again, this is just some leftover yarns that I have. That I'm using. Okay. I'm going to lower my crochet hook to a 4.5. So, going to insert a double crochet in the next chain one space and then double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in chain one and double crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to continue my double crochet. Double crochet in a chain one space and double crochet in the next stitch. Pull my yarn all the way through. Use my needle here. Just gonna weave it in in in, in my work. Oops. And then skip a loop and go back. There you go. That should be okay. And there's my bag. So now I'm going to take um, some a different color yarn and I'm going to chain um, 30. I mean 60. One. So now I have my 63 chains and I'm just gonna knot the end, forming a knot on the end so it doesn't come loose and I'm gonna chop that extra string and I'm gonna insert my and skip two double crochet and I'm just gonna weave it in every two double crochet there you go so now you can put your soap inside the pouch and cinch it. And there is your lovely soap pouch. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button. And remember to subscribe and thank you for watching. 9 a.m. studio. Mm -hmm.